What's wrong? Grodd. He's got my dad. He has him in Gorilla City. So the name of episode 13 is Attack on Gorilla City. What the hell is a Gorilla City? Okay, so <clears throat> there are sentient, highly intelligent, evolved gorillas in Earth 2. And they all live in a city deep in the heart of Africa. Her father, Harry Wells, went to Gorilla City and is missing in action. So she's hoping that the team can come and, and, and with her and help save her father. Please don't do anything stupid. You mean like voluntarily going to a city of super apes? Barry and Caitlin and Cisco and Julian going to Earth 2. Welcome to the jungle, baby. While they're going through the forest. It's a trap. Rod appears and captures them. And so now they're stuck in these gorilla city cells, uh, unable to escape. Grodd's dampening their powers. You're all right. Hello, Flash. Grodd, you will be sent to the arena and executed. And so we get to do a Flash gladiator fight in an arena full of screaming gorillas. Where are you going? Are you going to Planet of the Apes? No, it's just a city of them. It might be the greatest thing I've ever seen on television. Speedster versus Super Gorilla. Best worst video game ever. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We gotta talk all about Grodd. We got some new footage, let's break it down. That is some introduction. It may be the greatest thing that I've ever seen on television before. Flash versus gorillas in an arena, gladiator style. Are you not entertained? Everybody's gonna be screaming that during the episode. So if you're new to the channel, I do Flash videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. And there is a Flash ring giveaway going on that I'll explain at the end of the video. But just address this footage so you see Jesse Quick explaining to them. I love how Joe is always the explainer character. He's the guy who always pipes up when they have really complicated science and says, uh, hey, I don't, I don't get what you're talking about. Could you please explain that to me? Could you dumb it down a shade? The only reason they do stuff like that, it's an old TV trick. It's just for people watching the TV show that have absolutely no idea who Grodd is because there's like this hardcore fan base that knows exactly what's up. But then you have all of these other people that tune in and are just like, I have no idea what's going on. But that's kind of what my YouTube channel is for. So the only bad thing about this is that we don't see Solovar, but they did show off a picture of him last week. Looks like it's from later in the episode, or maybe it was a CG test because there's not a lot around here. But when they showed the big wide pan shot from last year, like when Grodd is seeing it for the first time, that looks like the arena way down there. But I do love the explainer that he's dampening their powers. He knows how to do that. That's how smart he is. And he's speaking through Harrison Wells, just like he did through General Eiling. The voice actor that does Grodd actually goes to a lot of conventions. You might be able to get him to record a phone message for you, like get Grodd as your answering machine message. But I've already done a couple videos about the premise of the episode, so I'm going to do like a top 10 things you need to know about Gorilla Grodd. He has a really cool backstory that's been changed a couple times, and there's a lot of Green Lantern Easter eggs. But number 10, the big Green Lantern Easter egg. He got his powers, his mental abilities, from the same meteorite that gave Hector Hammond his powers from the Green Lantern comics. They retconned that later, but that was originally Flash number 106 in 1959, so it goes way back. They also changed number 9, his origin story, he was supposed to be from a different Earth, then later they changed that to make him the disciple of this alien visitor. So it was really trippy when he started out in the comics, but this alien ship crashes, and that gives them their intelligence. Solovar also becomes his rival, gaining intelligence in the same way. So they kind of become this dichotomy that we'll see play out during the episode. But number eight, the alien visitor also compelled them to create Gorilla City. Think of it as being on par with Wakanda compared to other African nations. So much more advanced, more beautiful, more in tune with nature. Something you'd expect from a group of gorillas that are smarter than Jesse Quick, who's probably the smartest person on the show right now. Number seven, he has all kinds of powers. You've seen most of them on the TV show already. Telepathy, mind control, psychic blasts. But he's also, as a result of his mutation, is much bigger than a normal gorilla, which is part of what makes him stronger than a normal gorilla. Gorillas are very big on their own. They're already really dangerous. But you have to imagine he's like the Schwarzenegger of gorillas. Six, he actually became the Flash's enemy on accident. He was actually going after Solovar, who'd been captured by humans. So Grodd wanted Solovar's powers of mind control for himself so that he could take over Gorilla City. And when the Flash heard Solovar's distress call, he came to help and fought off Grodd, starting their beautiful relationship as the worst of enemies. 
Number five, he's actually gone back in time to try and wipe humans out. Grodd time traveling, that would be the craziest thing ever on the TV show. In Son of Ambush Bug, he goes back and tries to kill them off. But the twist is, this is kind of a silly story, and you even see the title of the comic book here. This actually looks exactly like the Flash of Two Worlds, so it's a nice easter egg for that. But Grodd goes back so far in history, but he almost ends up wiping out common ancestors of both gorillas and humans. So he's thwarted when he realizes that he can't kill them without also killing himself. It's a very reverse Flash type problem. Can't get rid of Barry Allen without also erasing his existence as the reverse Flash. Number four, during JLA Generations number two, he tried to run Central City and run for governor with a mental control device that made everybody like him. Now there were a couple other things that he tried to do, but just this funny idea that Grodd's gonna walk around and try and actually govern human beings. The thing is, is that the issue was actually written by John Ostrander from the Suicide Squad comics, so nice deep cut for that. Number three, Flashpoint Grodd from the comics actually succeeded where main universe Grodd did not. He was able to take over the entire continent of Africa, but this is during Flashpoint, so you have this giant Amazon Atlantis war going on, everything's gone crazy, the reverse Flash is run amok, but while this is all going on, Grodd is actually doing very well during this timeline. Number two, New 52 Flash met Grodd on accident when the Speed Force shunted him into Gorilla City. So he happened upon him and then eventually that led to the sequence of events whereby they had a version of guerrilla warfare. Gorillas rushing in to crush Central City, which is kind of the threat that we're getting ready for in this episode. But the number one thing, this is really big, hopefully there'll be an easter egg for this on the TV show, is that he created Zoom when he broke Hunter Zolomon's back or directly led to his creation. We've already done Zoom on the TV show, so maybe they'll have an easter egg, maybe some team member will get maimed in a way that will cause them to go evil in the future. But we got the new episode coming tomorrow. I'll post my video after it airs. It's going to be crazy. There's also some new Wonder Woman that I'm going to post. You guys have been asking me for an Aries video. And I'm thinking about making Mondays a permanent Spider-Man bonus video day. Like I do Flash videos on Tuesdays all the time. Let me know what you guys think of that. Giveaway though. There is a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. I'll announce the winner when I post my Flash episode video. While you wait for that to post, you can click here to learn all about the Vulture on Spider-Man Homecoming, and you can click here to learn all about the Flash prophecy. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Let's high five. I'll see you in the next video.